Previously on Amulets and Armor. I think they're talking about uh, the kingdom because, again, uh, yes. we are the dream team that they sent out to get a tactical nuke. So <laughs> You wonder how many people they sent out before. <laughs> Maybe the first sign we're going to see that this isn't your standard vineyard. This is vineyard pruning tools. This is, no, it isn't that. Oh, this stupid throne. Uh-huh. Look at this! Look at this throne! I mean, of a of a vineyard. This is a vineyard throne. Well, you have to watch the the uh-huh. grapes uh-huh. <laughs> with okay. with your lava tapestries <laughs> and your lava and lightning throne with look your at these solid obsidian pillars. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Believe it looks fantastic. You are a, a fearsome sight to behold. The tower is a sacred site for the forces of evil. Uh-huh. So it is. I could, I would say something about the idea of evil having sacred sites. You know, you need to be more tolerant of purest black evil. Those, uh, those hats are kind of an interesting design. The uh, coat yeah. head look. They're very Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, or I guess that's perhaps kind of... garden. Though. <laughs> Near the tower, a pride of griffins roam the skies. <laughs> Guess it's called a pride. That's the yeah. This would be the worst place to have to like eat your dinner. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this thing. Are you kidding me? That pouch has seven gold pieces. That is an insult at this stage of the game. That is Nimrud. The oh, mighty really? hunter of uh, yes. of the hunter fame. Yeah, I see. Okay. Not Nimrod, mind you. Nimrod. Oh, you are kidding. De- Whatever. Devine. Whatever. <laughs> uh, this whole place. Nimrod, Nimrod the divine. <laughs> the divine. <laughs> Hail, who we apparently know. Are you kidding me? Wanted, nope. undead, or alive. Poland. It's a griffin. Hey, look at those little But wings. not a man. Wow. He's so tiny. <laughs> Listen to him. He is adorable. <laughs> so, I'm going to recommend you not go up there. Oh, no. 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 Yeah, no kidding. That's, that's where Matan was. <laughs> I pulled him off that ledge the very minute you were grabbing Griffin. <laughs> is there anything good? Oh, they're coming. All right. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's good. So yeah, I'll show that. I, I'm gonna, my I like our report after we finish this level. It's, it's gonna be look, King. We can never go back to that place again. <laughs> uh-huh. Is that a uh, mercenary that's dead? No, it's another uh, Alaric barbarian. Or case we have to get by now. On we They're go. Death. Oh, moldering, rotting destruction. Dust blowing in the wind, maggots crawling out of the eye sockets of maggots crawling out of regular eye sockets. Oh, it's all over. There's nothing left. You're gonna pause it while I pick up my stuff here. <laughs> oh, well, welcome to Ambulance and Armor, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> so, I'll go take a quick look around while Bacter picks up his junk. This is the mandatory Hope You Brought Water Walk part of the quest. Every quest must have one. Oh, I forgot I had a rubber ball. Yeah. So here we are. Yep. The final level. The last wanna, of wanna, the Want to throw some bones on what we're likely to find here? Oh, let's see. I'd guess uh, tight level design, climactic cutscenes, <laughs> possibly some quick time actions. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, a final resolution to the plot, where we find the uh, the ultimate designs of Bale and bring mm. them to a uh, a halting, unfulfilled end. Yeah, maybe a fight with Bale himself. Maybe a fight. I don't like the way you say that. <laughs> I'm just gonna open and say I that. I don't know I, why. I do not like the way that that was said by you. Well, I'll say something else then. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's very considerate of you. All right. <laughs> I've got most of my equipment on. I'm just speed picking up everything else. So, uh... You know, I think I'll leave this part in.
Just so the folks at home can see what, what usually goes on in the bits I cut out. Frequently. Frequently goes on. Just endlessly. Oh, I, I can prom I, I'm really just running over here to avoid this loud, loud waterfall. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, it's so loud. Okay, hmm. yeah, that's a um, change. So, I don't know if this is legitimate to say or not, but uh, after all that lava, water kind of seems like a letdown. Well... What you gonna do? I'm going to protest. I'm Complain going to loud and long. March on the Capitol. No, that's too much work. Yeah. That doesn't sound like your MO at no, all. No, sir. I'm going to just. Alright, I'm regular prepared now, so out I go and down oh, I Oh, you went down there. Fall, I guess. What you doing down there? Man, I don't know. Is this not where I'm supposed to go? Well. The water washes you down there, and therefore, I don't want to go down there. I see. Where, uh, where are you? I'm up top. Oh, I see. Can I get back up there? I have... Uh, let me put on some rings of jumping here. Yeah, with enough jumps, you can. I use my jump spell. I'm gonna use my jump ring. You can also use your resist gravity spell, if you like. Can I do it with one jump ring? No, I cannot. Can I do uh, it? Try two, one, three. Try two jump rings. Um, that'll work too. Yes, it will. I didn't grind all that level for nothing. Yes, I did. Mm hmm. So, if you do a fancy little slew, a little hop here. Yes? Are you up on the top? Yeah, I'm up on the top. Yeah. If you're very careful, you can run along the top of this waterfall. Oh, I see. And then get over here without falling down. Or if you just jump like a madman. Nope, did not work. Did you forget to put your water walk ring back on? No, it's on? back on. It's definitely oh. back on. Well, I'll pull it now. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get back here. It's time for four rings of jumping. So there are two switches up here okay. that you need to pull, one on each side. You can go to the other side if you like. Sure. I will do that. Or I will. Suit yourself. <laughs> With three rings of jumping, no thing can stop me. Oh, calm down. <laughs> this is such a bad finale. Ow. Ow. Uh. Ow. Oh, I forgot to put on my ring of water walking again. Oh, no. Oh, I'm being <laughs> swept away by the current. All right. Are you... So did you oh, hit the hello. switches? I hit one of them. Oh, where's the other one? Oh. Over here, this way? <laughs> You're doing the strangest dance. Oh, yeah, it's over there. Aha! Uh -huh. Hoisted by your petard, I see. Oh no, I fell down! Oh my goodness, there's so many! Oh, there's so many of them. Uh -huh. Not that they're dangerous, mind you, but... Uh, anyway. Yeah, they're kind of just there and annoying. In fact, if you want to go murder them, I'll see what I can do about yeah, this switch. Yeah, how about you do that, and I'll go ahead and go murder them. You know what? This is an amateur hour. Isn't it? Oh, I was I guess sure that this was amateur hour. All there right, we go. come here, jumps. Man, I remember being terrified the first time I saw one of these guys. Mm-hmm. These are actually a little different. They are aqua serpents. Aha. Uh -huh. Terror of the seas. This is not a sea. Do not, please don't insult a sea by calling this a sea. <laughs> yeah, well, you're also not afraid. It's true. So pulling the switches up there opens this. Ah, uh, okay. Neat. If you if you don't uh, manage it, you can do a fan. There's some elevators over here. Okay. And you can just ride them up and sure, sure, there sure. you go. So, uh, wow, my goodness. Now, I bought a special wand. Did you? The Wand of Earthbind. What's that Earthbind wand do? I have plans for it. Okay. Why don't you... Uh... I have to admit, this is kind of impressive and cool. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen here? Oh, Bale's gonna come out, infinite griffins. <laughs> Let's have at it. Alright, I'm gonna jump down here. Boy, I thought this would uh, hurt me, walking down here. 
It's not actually lava, although it looks like it. it looks like Emerald. But then again, you me. are wearing shoes made out of... Uh, right. Fire. Whatever. Condensed fire. All right. Oh, and here they come. There's a roar. Flying dragons. Oh. And this is what the Earthbind wand is for. Hey, neat. You zap them with that, and they can't fly anymore. Neat. And now, you can beat on them to your heart's content. Ah, uh, excellent. That's pretty cool. Oh, down goes one. Oh gosh, yeah, I got they're, it. they're not super dangerous. Yeah. Your frost coat would probably be a good. Yeah, I, uh, here. I've got that cast right now. They do have fit, have melee attacks though. Yeah. And I'm not entirely sure, but I think their melee attacks are armor pierce. Okay. Oh, I missed the right click. Well, there, there's more of them. I'll well, once the right again, uh, yeah, I was gonna say like once again, if you right click them once they're dead, it just doesn't give you the description. It just says dragon. Yeah. Oop. You ride this pillar. Oh. Hang on a minute. Actually, I will. I'll take the potions, but I'll let you see what the real treasure up here is. Okay. Uh, maybe I need to get off and then get back on or something. How do I make it come down? That's a good question. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Just timed, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, those were some cool enemies. Yeah, they're suitable, ominous, and I guess yeah. congratulations, Amulets and Armor, for at least having a lot of unique enemies in the final Absolutely. Uh, quest. Well, let's see, what do we got here? A glimmering ring, which my little eye tells me. Which my eye, little, little eye tells me. Easy, oh, then. Down I go again is a Ring of Regeneration plus 40. Well, that's quite good, isn't it? It's, you know, it's not, actually. Oh, is it not? Regeneration is not very powerful. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> if you like that kind of thing. You know, yeah, I think I'd rather have another ring, but there you go. It's there. <laughs> Did you get the amulet? No, I'm, I'm headed back up. Is there more water in the level, or can I uh, switch out my water walking for... Uh... You can probably switch out your water walking. All right. Now, here's that amulet. Mm -hmm. You know, it would have been kind of funny if they had an amulet and some armor up here, but uh, not to be. An amulet of flying? Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whee! Oh, your graphics are glitching all over the place. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah, it's like you're, you can't rem keep track of exactly how high you are. Excellent. So there you go. Yeah. Flight is required to finish this level. Oh, gosh. And that's why I stocked up on all of these flying potions. Excellent. Because there's only one flying amulet. Now, keep in mind that just last quest, you found the amulet that negates <clears throat> fall damage. Yes. So it became obsolete instantly. Right, right. Just <laughs> in a single move. <laughs> Completely well, obsolete. Fantastic. Uh, All right, let's get out of here. So wow, this is uh, sure is some lava in here. Mm -hmm. My goodness, look at this place. Yeah. I've got my water, my lava walk amulet on, but you can just. Fly. I'll just fly over it. Yeah. There's gems all around here okay. if you want money for some reason. I'm going to uh, just say that I think this is a very it, like. It, I like that this is in the final level, that there's these fire caverns, and the two of us are just, you know, moon jumping through the fire caverns. Mm -hmm. That, I think, is it very is nice. cool. I've, I've got to give points to that. Sounds okay. like some more dragons in here. Yeah, let me get my wand out. I got my uh, fire protection spell out, so... Gosh. Sounds like one of those death priests, too. Oh, no, that's my wand. Oh, I see. Well, to be fair, you are kind of a death priest. <laughs> I'm not a priest. No, that's true. I I take back that nasty thing that I said. <laughs> Did you get the left click on that guy? Uh, no. Eh, next one. There's still more. Here's a gem. It's probably a ruby. Yeah. Gems are just good for money. Or phylacteries. Mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm. um, so where'd you go? I'm right behind you. Okay. Man, look at all the embers in this place. This is just... Yeah, it's kind of hard on the eyes. Not yeah. gonna lie. Alright. So, uh... Well, here's a little ledge with some stuff on it. Yeah. It's like two of those potions that burn you. And that's it. 
No, are they fire it's protection? Some lava walk. Lava walk. Yeah. These are actually uh, big health potions. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, there's some that, lava uh, walk potions, yeah. but I have a and the. Man, how did amulet. that dead guy get up there? Is my question. Well, how'd you get up there? I flew with my amulet that there's one of in the game. Well, maybe he used a potion. That's true. Uh. All right, so let let me take point here. I want to show something off. You know it. Okay. Lead let me make on. Sure I'm immortal. Okay, so we got these red dragons here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to zap them with my earth bind. Okay. All right. Do you hear that? Yes. Dragons are not immune to fire. <laughs> what? He is in the lava, <laughs> unable to fly. You are kidding me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Look now, they have a million hit points. Right. So they'll be there for a long time. But that is the final boss of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Wh what? Are you kidding me? No, that's him. Right there, that big dragon. Oh my goodness. How long does your earthbind last for? Forever. This is the greatest and best final boss fight. Wait, would I would I complete the level if I flew out of the uh, top here? No. Okay, no, no, good. Would. Because I was you like one the inch from the top there and I was worried I was going to uh <laughs> Furthermore, when you're perched on the treasure pillar here, they can't actually shoot you. Yeah, I noticed. So, I want to take a second and talk about how amazing this final boss fight is. <laughs> this may be my favorite ever. We are beating this game the way that wizards beat this game. <laughs> we have magically bound a fire dragon to lava where he's burning to death. Meanwhile, we do not care, and we are just flying figure eights around the top of his boss chamber. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. So, uh, so what do we got up here? Uh, there was $200, which I picked up, and, and a bunch staff. of gems. Which is a staff of power. Mm -hmm. You want that? Looks like it'd be good for you. Sure. It's a weapon that increases your magic. Yeah. Which is okay if you want to go heavy spells, I guess. Orb burns my hands when I hold it. What, what kind of orb do you think that is? It's a destruction orb. There you go. I like how you immediately tried to turn it on. <laughs> yeah, it hurt pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm yeah, drink this potion sadly of pain you can't too. use it to destroy the kingdom. I've been holding on to this potion of pain all game. Let's see. Now I'm gonna drink this potion of poison. Why <laughs> are you okay, fine. <laughs> oh man, he sure is uh getting hurt down there. Yeah, he's taking his time. I kinda feel like I should I don't know. Should I put on my uh, amulet of lava walking and expedite the process a bit or go put him out of his misery? <laughs> Sure. Put him out of my misery, more like. Yeah, let's go. Let's go beat him. All right, him a amulet bit. of uh, lava walking is go. Let's see, the little one already died. Offspring of Draco, what's his name? Yeah, Melacarch or whatever. All right, I got my fire protection spell on. Oh man. Yeah, he, he is not much of a... So is he dead then? Yep. Oh. Well. Hooray? Question mark? As I punch his corpse. Alright. <laughs> well, uh, well done, quote unquote, to all of us there. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Now, all that's left is to go back to the kingdom. And uh, collect our just rewards. Absolutely. Or unjust rewards, as the case may be. So, can I, can I just ask a couple questions here as we head sure. towards the exit? I was sort of under the impression from a few levels ago that uh, Nimrod the Hunter had turned into Bale. Uh huh. And had flown away and was gathering an army of Griffin Riders. Yeah. Would you care to comment on, on that? Look, whole... you saw those griffins. <laughs> 
Yes, uh, yes I did. Uh, I don't know where you went, but here's where the key... Uh, where are you? I'm back near where you found the amulet of flying. Okay, I will be right back there. I, uh... Yeah, yeah. Just getting... That's where you gotta go. Just getting out of these caverns here. Oh, wrong way. So I can only imagine that uh, Bale realized his griffins were duds and uh, then uh, just uh. sort of buzzed off, and that was it. <laughs> so we never, uh, we never really fight him, then, do we? No, no, he's just, he just oh. leaves. He's just gone. <laughs> and the, so the final boss was then, uh, it was a dragon that had kidnapped uh, everything. Sure. So Why where's not? the door? Is this the door here? Right here. Over here. That's the exit over there, but we have to pull a switch to open it. I see. Wow, what is this? This is your reward for finishing the game, basically. What, what is it? There are four amulets up there. I see. Each one provides uh, passive resistance to one of the elements. Okay. Huh. And what's and, uh, that uh, that glowing cubey thing? Look, it's just a glowing cubey thing. Uh huh. Not everything has a point, okay? But it it pushes you off when you stand on it. Oh, neat. It's not that neat. It's kind of neat. So amulet it's... of electricity protection. Yeah, there's electricity, poison, fire, and mana drain immunity or near immunity. So I guess if you wanted to replay the game, you could uh, be resistant to those elements when you wanted to be. Can I talk about how, uh, I know the Orb of Destruction is good, but we're now immune to, like, things. So I guess we're immortal now. Yeah. To be fair, we've basically been immortal for a while. Yeah, I guess that's while. true. Well, are we ready to take these brave final steps? Let's get let's out of here. Let's do it on three. Let's, let's walk together into the, uh, the final portal. All right, three, <laughs> two, me first. Ha <laughs> I win. <laughs> you know, the real funny thing is I was going to cheat too, but you cheated a little sooner. <laughs> oh man, that's uh, that final level, Mike. So no bail, no nope. set up final fight, just a gross dragon from nowhere. Right. Was he... I guess he was sentient then. I mean, he surely was orchestrating things. I... Wait, maybe? Was he just smog that he wanted to, like, sit on some pressure? <laughs> well, look, Elmore killed Melikarch's uh, consort. Yes, yes. And found the Orb of Destruction. Right. And then Melikarch got it back. Uh -huh from Messias, right. and I guess gave it to his offspring, <laughs> and then Baal had some prophets that made some inaccurate prophecies. <laughs> Boy, did he. And, and then guess... Baal turned into Nimrod, right. and then we killed Nimrod. Why did Baal turn and into then... Nimrod? Look, it's complicated. <laughs> it isn't complicated. It's... It's... It's not anything. It just... He turned into Nimrod, uh -huh. and then we showed up, and he's like, oh boy, and then we just we murdered just him, blew him, and he's like, oh crap. <laughs> Maybe he just said he was going to collect his Griffin Riders, and then he just booked for the hills. Okay. Right. He says, uh, Griffin Riders, check in at the, uh, the Ziggurat, <laughs> and, uh, no ziggurat, I'll, I'll meet you the there, way. and there's no Ziggurat, there's no Ziggurat. <laughs> hey, guess what I've got? What have you got? Orb of Destruction. I bet you do. <laughs> Is it, uh, is it for sale? Nope, he does not want to buy that. But, uh... Alright, while we're here, let's go over the, the final parts of the piston. We've got Absolutely. adaminium weapons are now for sale. Adaminium. They do mana drain, not too great. Right. It's still just mithril chain, sure. so... That can't do better than... Which, by the way, there's now no point to buy anything. Right. You can buy potions of invisibility, and there's a certain wand you can buy now. <laughs> oh boy, we, yeah, so, we wondered what happened to that wand. If you wanted to know, 
what Prince number four wanted with the wand of disintegration, this is what he wanted. He wanted to mass produce. <laughs> he wanted to sell them on the open market. <laughs> So he has reverse engineered the wand of disintegration, and now any Tom, Dick, or Harry can buy one. That is about as good a plan for the destruction of the universe as I've heard. Mm -hmm. Take the most powerful thing, give it to every chunk. Mm -hmm. Now everybody can just avada kedavra or whatever that is. Now. Right. Ugh. So, I, I know this is just folly heaped on folly, but I'm still trying to just piece together what just happened. Um, <laughs> so, there was this orb of destruction, and the orb of destruction was, like you said, basically a tactical nuke. I've got it now in my satchel. It's right. in between the carrots and my skull. It's um, not going anywhere. No. Um, and it was recovered by um, Elmore. Huh? After, when no. and on just what appeared to be a quote-unquote routine dragon slaying, uh -huh, uh -huh. like they, they weren't looking for it, right. they just found they it by like, accident. Oh, it orb, and it then cor it corrupted them, and it turned right. them into an undead guy, and uh, <laughs> you know, like it does. Yeah, yeah. And um, orbs. So then. Um, the dragon's offspring somehow got it after that and has been sort of hoarding it. And he killed the... Uh, so he, he must have killed the owner of the uh, play, the, uh, the vineyard to mm -hmm. get it. And who was hiring the mercenaries? Was Bale hiring the mercenaries? Oh, who knows? Was it the Sorcerers of the Star, maybe? What, what were they doing? What was their deal? They were just sacrificing I see. I see. barbarians. <laughs> I'm sure they just attach themselves to whoever could uh, could get right. them some sacrifices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. You know, we said that this was sort of like a, a first person, a, a person's early D and D campaign, and I think that's exactly what it was. <laughs> they reached the end and they realized, boy, I have no way to tie all this up. Nope. So. It's Here's a dragon. Good best of luck to you. Right. That final boss fight was probably my favorite ever. Just clip his wings and let him burn to death in his own <laughs> stupid chamber while we just <laughs> sorcerer fly around up top. Right. This is like, yeah, again, just like D&D, the most powerful spells are not the spells that deal damage, right. not the spells that protect you. <laughs> They're the spells that, like, modify some obscure rule. Right, right. And it turns to, out to be incredibly critical. So I've got, uh, let's see, 60 platinum for the Amulet of Flying, 35 platinum for the Mana Drain, 35 platinum for Poison, and 35 platinum for Electricity Protection. I yeah, own the kingdom right now. <laughs> so, Garl Glittergold's happy, and uh, you were presumably just this unholy, you know, thrumming source of power. You were. Yeah, I bought an amulet of invisibility, so now I am basically a ghost. Perfect. <laughs> I am a Nazgul. You are. Yeah, that's exactly Hooray. what you are. So, hey, good end gaming. Yes, everyone is pleased. <laughs> well, this was fun. Even we knew it wasn't going to make any sense. No. So thanks a lot to these guys yeah, here thanks for, thanks for doing the uh, for making this game. Doing their thing. I'm sorry that uh, politics happened and you couldn't sell it. Thank you to you, of course, for turning in, tuning in, and getting the free entertainment that we made for you with our blood, sweat, and tears. Thanks for that, I guess. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being belligerent there. I've never been able to figure out why you're belligerent, <laughs> and we've been at this for quite some time. It's true. Never will. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not sure if we're going to do another LP uh, soon. Factor's doing one. If you're a cool guy, you know where it is, how to find it. So, thanks for watching, everybody. That's true. Uh, see, you see you later. Or not. Probably. Later. <laughs>